Hi, I'm Tatum Dooley, and I'm a writer and curator from Toronto. I started an Instagram account called Canadian Art Forecast a couple years ago, and the purpose of the account is to highlight emerging Canadian artists. So I was so happy when the Toronto Outdoor Art Fair asked me to film this video and to pick five emerging artists. I have such a sweet spot for emerging artists because it's so exciting to be able to follow somebody from the beginning of their career into being a more established artist. It's The price points are a bit lower, so you're able to afford it as a new collector. And also just like the work feels new and exciting. And I think that really reflects in this collection. I tried to, ch I tried to pick people from a few different disciplines and uh, you'll see that in the collection. Um, everybody was in such a high quality and I learned about so many new artists that I had never learned about before and I hope you do too. Thank you. Of the work of Stephanie Singh. Um, she uses sustainable practices such as natural dyes and plant matter to uh, create these surfaces. They're just so tactile and I think the fact that I've spent the last couple of months stuck inside, uh, there's something about these works that really draws me in because of um, you know that ability to touch them the connection to nature which I feel like I've been lacking lately and just how well the colors work together I mean it looks like you know like a Rothko surface when you zoom in um, and it's something that you can wear or you put on the wall there's just so many possibilities um, and just such a creative use of nature and the next artist that I picked is Nami Uino, and she grew up in Kyoto and mentions that art is what connects dreams and reality, subconscious and consciousness. So they're really like this dreamlike canvas. Uh, and I'm really blown away with how well rendered these are. Um, they're just the amount of detail from, you know, you can look at this canvas for hours and keep seeing new things like the birds and the branches and the faces in the tree, the palace in the background. You know, there's such an ability to project your own fantastical narrative onto these works. Um, just like so dreamlike. And the next artist is Christian Applegate, who is an artist and illustrator in Toronto. Um, he mentions that he uses flat shapes, limited color palette, and googly eyes um, to pull an audience into a nonsensical world. Um, I love this one. I'm a little bit biased because orange is my favorite color, but just this monochrome palette is so much fun. And they're just so retro where it feels like it could be in your family, like for generations hanging on the kitchen wall, but there is such a contemporary edge to them. And, you know, they're just a lot of fun. And the next artist is a painter from Toronto, Raul Ulu. Uh, what I love about these paintings is that I feel like I've been inside of this composition before. I've been walking down the street in Toronto on a summer night and, you know, it's just after dusk. So the, the sky is still blue and lights are coming on and I'm walking with friends. It's warm out. And the fact that, you know, Raul can pack so many feelings and so much nostalgia into one canvas I think really speaks to uh, what an accomplished painter he is and the final artist that I picked is Isabella Veroso uh, so I wanted to pick to pick a text-based artist because um, I just think that it's a lot of fun to see how artists can combine words and typefaces uh, with color and design and I think Isabella did like an amazing job at that um, so she also does installation work and she deals with ideas of surface its relationship with typography um, and then she mentions in doing so that she explores how viewing and seeing equal understanding and how legibility and illusion through typography create meaning so very much like Marshall McLuhan the meaning uh, the medium is the message, and I think with these ones, it's just so lovely that the medium is beautiful and the messages are, um, you know, cheeky and smart and really engaging work. 
So thank you so much for um, joining me and listening to the picks uh, for the Toronto Outdoor Art Fair now online. And so I hope you take some time to check out the other artists and click around. And I hope everybody stays safe and enjoys the fair.